Here's a shocking statistic for you that I bet you've never thought about before. There are 7.5 billion people alive today on planet Earth, with just 600 million of those people saying that they are born again believers. Now suppose those numbers are correct. That means that 8% of the world's population are going to heaven. But let's reverse that. That means 92% of them are going to hell. Does that bother you? I want you to imagine that you work in a 30 story tower block and one day there's a fire and everyone at the top of the building realises there's a fire and they start bolting for the doors and here you are, you're running down the fire exit, you're running as fast as you can to get away from the fire. As you run down the stairs you pass a, a blind man, dull of all of his senses, deaf, blind, he can't hear, he can't smell and he's walking up the stairs with his sticks. But because you're so focused on getting out, getting out of the building, you run straight past him and you don't warn him. What is the first thing that that man is going to cry out when he gets to the top of that building? What will he scream at the top of his voice? Why didn't someone warn me of these flames? Why didn't someone protect me from this danger ahead? And dear friends, I believe there will be millions, billions of souls which will scream your very name and cry out, Why didn't you warn me of these flames? Why didn't you cry out to me and warn me that there is a real hell, a real judgment, a real devil who wants to snatch as many souls down to this lake of fire? But there's also a real saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who hung on a cross, who loved sinners, who wept and died on a cross for the sins of the world. Hell is a place of gloomy darkness. A place where billions will be weeping, crying, wailing and grinding their teeth. It is a place of unquenchable fire. There is a lake of fire which forever burns. And do you know what the fuel is for that fire? Christless souls, those who have rejected the Lord Jesus Christ and refused to repent of their sins. It is a place where the worm will not die, a place which is made for Satan and his angels. It was made for the punishment of eternal beings. Just dwell on that, think on that. And yet there will be human souls who will be banished there forevermore. A hundred years will go by, they'll still be there. A thousand years will go by, they will still be there. A million, a billion years, time will forevermore vanquish and these souls will be falling in this everlasting pit of darkness. But it's okay, don't worry, you're safe. You know the Lord Jesus, you, you don't need to panic, so you can turn off this video, you can go back to your favourite Netflix series, you can eat your favourite Ben and Jerry's ice cream, put your feet up on the couch, don't worry, you're safe, you're going to heaven. No need to panic. You might think I'm joking, but there is very few things which frustrate me, there are very few things which disturb me than to go to church and see Christian after Christian nodding their head when the preacher's preaching about the Great Commission, nodding their head as they, they read through the book of Acts, going to missionary meetings, learning about missionaries, going to Peru, sacrificing their lives, hearing about all of these different Christians and yet... They have a great time, they, they go on trips out, they, they go on walks together, they have wonderful fellowship as Christians and yet the Titanic keeps sinking, the souls keep falling, the queue keeps getting shorter and shorter, like that, dead, dead, dead. Soul after soul will be heaping up into that lake of fire and Satan is rubbing his hands together as all these souls are being snatched into this den of iniquity forevermore. You say to me, Joe, it's not my gifting. I'm happy to support the, the evangelist. I'm happy to support missionaries. But I myself, I find evangelism too hard. Well, you're right, it is hard. But Jesus said, take up your cross, not your cushion. When we get to heaven, we will be able to worship God forever. And our worship in heaven will be much better than our worship in earth. When we get to heaven, we will be able to have fellowship with brothers and sisters in Christ forever, for all of eternity. And our fellowship in heaven will be much better than our fellowship down on earth below. But when we get to heaven, we will no longer be able to preach the loving gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to the lost. It'll be too late then. The Bible says there is a great chasm which is fixed that no man from heaven can cross over to hell. No man from hell can get past that chasm. It is fixed forevermore. And I'm pleading with you today, care about those people. Look, if I've not offended you already, swallow this one. You, Mr. Christian, you, Mrs. Christian, if you are not sharing the gospel with unbelievers, 
you are a disobedient believer. Jesus said, go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Go out and make disciples of all nations. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ said. So how long will you continue to disobey his commands? How long will you continue to go your own way and choose your own comfort and ease over the one who died for sinners, the one who sacrificed everything? You might look at yourself and you might think, I'm sacrificing a lot. But it's nothing compared to what the Lord Jesus Christ sacrificed when he took the darkness of your sin at Calvary and absorbed the wrath of God to turn it away to be the propitiation for our sins. Hey, now, so the question you should all be asking yourselves right now is, what can I do about it? You're right, the Titanic is sinking and I don't wanna be rearranging the furniture on a sinking Titanic. I don't wanna be squabbling with Christians about pathetic things when the lost are going to hell. What can I do about it? Well, on average, the videos that I put out on this channel get about a thousand views. That's 1,000 people who could be watching this video right now. And imagine if each person just decided, I want to reach just one person a week. I want to share the gospel with just one unbeliever a week. That's 52 a year. And if a thousand people do that, that's 52,000 people who could be reached this year with the gospel, who could receive a gospel seed planted into their hearts. And who knows what the Holy Spirit can do with that if it falls on fertile ground. So I'm going to ask you now, would you be willing to do it? Will you be willing to share the gospel with an unbeliever once every week? Now, with all that being said, I know that there are people watching this right now who are terribly shy. You get so nervous talking to people, that socially you struggle. And for you people, I don't want to discourage you, but perhaps I could gently challenge you to do this. Why not buy a big box full of tracts, full of Christian leaflets with the gospel in it? And why not try and just give away just one of those leaflets a week? That's 52 leaflets that will go out again with the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And who knows what the Lord God can do with it when the words of Christ are in an unbeliever's hand. So guys, remember, hell is filling up. And as Paul said, how will they hear without a preacher? So there's a responsibility you have, there's a responsibility I have, that we must give up everything we can to reach the lost. Because when it all comes down to it, nothing else will matter on that day of judgment except for has a man or woman put their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ or have they rejected him? One final thing before you go. I don't want anyone to think I'm being harsh with you. I'm sorry if I've come across a bit strong in this. If there is anyone who wants any help, any advice, just leave it in the comment box below and I'm more than willing to, to try and answer your questions, to try and help you. We're all on the same side here. We're all in the same boat here. We just want to see as many people in heaven as possible. We just want to win souls for the Lord Jesus Christ.